Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can base a pivot table on multiple tables, formatted tables in Excel. So first of all, on the screen, I have three tables. I've got a table of customers and I'll click on table design. It says customer a table of products and a sales table. Now these are all formatted as tables. So how do you do that? If I just go back to the home tab and I'll just knock this format off. So I'll go to table and convert this back to a range. Yes, so this is now just a typed table. Nothing fancy about it other than the colors it's still got. Whereas this one is a formatted table and the difference is a formatted table you will get this extra tab at the top there saying table design on this table which I've just taken off you will not see that it's not there now to format it as a table because to use the power pivot feature that I'm going to use to, to link these tables together you have to format your source data as a table and it's a simple process like this on the home tab you go format as table and then it's just a case of picking up one of these color schemes now it's grabbed the table that it can see it's asking you uh, does your table have headers yes it does titles so I'm clicking OK to that and that's the job done it's formatted as a table and you can see it does the filters for you and it does a lot more things as well so it's really cool when you format things as table you get a lot of functionality and obviously you're getting this tab here, which gives you the option for slices and other things. So once you've formatted everything as a table, we're almost ready to go. One other qualifier is if you're going to link these tables together using Power Pivot, you have to have a unique identifier. Like this customer ID number is unique to a customer. The product ID is unique to a product. So those are the unique identifiers. And then... This, this is what's called a join table, where you've got a number from each of these tables, customer and products, and then the quantities. Now, I want to join these together. To do that, I need to launch the Power Pivot window. Now, I've actually got mine already activated, but if you've never used this before, you need to go to the Data tab, and you'll have this option here. When you click that, it will allow you to enable the Power Pivot feature, and then this Power Pivot window will tip up, and you've got the option then to start using it. Now, first of all, we need to add these three tables to this Power Pivot window. Now, you've got this button here that says Add to Data Model. So that's what I'm going to do. I've clicked into this table, Add to Data Model. It will open up the Power Pivot window, which I'll just minimize a little bit so you can see it. And it's basically just put a copy of this table into the Power Pivot window. And you can see it there, little tab. Now, if I do the same on this one, I click onto this table and add that to the data model. That will generate a second tab you've got there. Now, this one hasn't come up with customers because I didn't name it when I created the thing, which I should have done, doesn't matter. And then the third one, add to data model, and then that will add in the sales. So I've got table for products and sales. Now, if I just click back onto this table, go into table design, I should really call that customer, which is what it was called before. Customer, just press enter. You don't have to name these tables. But now, if I go back to the Power Pivot and get into manage, open this window, you've got your three tables. I'll just refresh the data. Um, success, okay. Go into table four. Refresh that. Close. So everything's got the most up to date data in it. Now, you can see the three tabs here. What I need to do is link these together so that I can create a pivot table based on multiple source tables. Now, the best way I think of doing this is selecting what's called the diagram view over here, which will look a bit like a Microsoft Access database. The relationship window you get in that so the join table is the sales table so i'll just move that across now you have to sort of 
link these together in how you think they're going to work so the links are going to be from customer number to customer you just drag and let go and it will create a one to many link and you can see the the say the the actual when you want to see what's linked you just click on the the line and the two fields that are linked are highlighted and then from products to products in the sales table and then again you get a one to many link and the one that's highlighted is the link one so as soon as you click on the link if i click off that click on the link even hover over the link it shows you what's what's the linked field now once you've got your tables linked together you can create your pivot tables now you've got a lot of options here different pivot table types you can have but i'm just going to go for the basic one at the top and then that will ask me where i want to put this i'll put this on a new worksheet i'll just click ok and it'll drop it onto a new worksheet there's your grid but what you have that's different is the fact that you've got all these tables these four three tables the source data so what i want to do is select the fields that i want to appear in the pivot table so from the customers table i want name so I'll tick name so I get a list of customers down there from the products table I want also to tick name now that's pushed it underneath there so I want this name over in columns so it gives me a list of products and then from the sales table I just want to know what the quantity is and then that will give me the quantity of each of these products that's been bought by these customers so as these three tables grow you'll have to refresh the data and when you refresh the data this pivot table will update as well so you've got refresh data there and it will suck any changes through and then you'll see the impact of that change so if I go to the source data I've just go and change something so customer one which is a mac has bought product one which is office 365 has bought two copies but if i change that to 20 copies so that's a change what i need to do in my pivot table if i go back to this just need to go to analyze and there's the two that it initially had so that should change to 20 if i refresh that it changes it to 20 so it sucks the information through so once this is set up this is the end product you've got your little pivot table set up any changes will be picked up on a refresh but you must keep refreshing the data so this is all i want to talk about in this little video how you can pull multiple tables together create relationships and then base a pivot table on that relationship using the power pivot feature so hopefully this little video has been of use thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.